Let Garmin get you started with your Garmin Dashcam Live. Your Garmin Dashcam Live will come with a low profile magnetic mount, long power cable, short power and data cable, dual USB power adapter, and a pre installed 16 GB micro SD card. An extra adhesive magnetic disc is also included. Let's begin by going over the Garmin Dashcam Live hardware. There are four buttons on the right side of the dashcam. The power and back button is located at the top. Press this button to turn on the dashcam. You can also use this button to return to the previous screen. Hold this button for three seconds to turn off the dash cam. Press the up and down buttons to scroll through menus or pages. Press the bottom button to select an option in a menu. This button can also be used to save photos and videos when on the main screen, also known as the viewfinder. The dash cam saves video footage recorded 15 seconds before and 15 seconds after you save a video. On the left side of the device is a micro USB port which is used for connecting to a power outlet in a vehicle with the included dual USB power adapter and cable. This port is also used for connecting to a computer or AC adapter. The micro SD card slot is located on the bottom of the device. A 16 GB memory card will come pre-installed. You can use a compatible Class 10 memory card with a storage capacity up to 512 GB. The low profile magnetic mount can be rotated to provide an optimal viewing angle while mounted. Now that we have covered the hardware basics, let's go over mounting and powering the Garmin Dashcam Live. Before you install the Garmin Dashcam Live, you should find the appropriate mounting location. The adhesive mount is intended for a long-term installation and can be difficult to remove. Carefully consider the mounting location before you install the mount. For best results, the ambient temperature should be from 70 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit while installing the camera on your windshield. The adhesive may not bond correctly if the temperature is outside this range. If you need to install the camera at lower temperatures, you must clear any moisture from the windshield and warm the windshield using the vehicle defroster before installing the camera. Next, clean the inside of the windshield using water or alcohol and a lint-free cloth. The windshield must be free of dust, wax, oil, or coatings. Remove the protective film from the mount adhesive. The adhesive is extremely sticky. Avoid touching the adhesive to the windshield until the mount is properly positioned. Press the mount with the attached camera firmly onto the windshield and maintain pressure for 30 seconds. This helps to ensure the mount adhesive has proper contact with the windshield. Next, plug the power cable into the micro USB port on the camera. You can use either of the included cables to provide power to the camera. The longer, lightweight, 13-foot cable connects with the cable pointing up and is designed to be routed upward and out of sight. To hide the 13-foot cable, route it behind the vehicle trim along the windshield, door frame, or dash. The shorter, 5-foot cable connects with the cable pointing down for a direct route to a power source. You should power the camera using the included dual USB power adapter and cable. Avoid using a vehicle USB port or splitter. A vehicle USB port or splitter may not provide enough power for reliable camera operation. Plug the Garmin Dashcam Live power cable into the included dual USB power adapter. Then plug the dual USB power adapter into the power outlet in your vehicle. We are now ready to begin the initial setup of the Garmin Dashcam Live. If necessary, turn on the vehicle to provide power to the dashcam. Use the buttons to select your locale. Then select the language. Read and agree to the warning. Next, select the camera location of your dash cam on the windshield, left, center, or right. Then select the height of your vehicle. If you would like the dash cam to record audio, select on. Otherwise, select off. 
Lastly, you will need to install the Garmin Drive app to use LTE features and to upload videos to the secure online vault. Check out our pairing videos linked in the top right of this video for instructions. Use your compatible smartphone to scan the QR code on your Garmin Dash Cam Live or the one right here in this video. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.